What a beautiful morning. Sun is rising. Today is a solo ride for me. <laughs> Welcome, welcome. It's been a while again. <laughs> I'm not really that active lately because I am busy. <laughs> of course, my friends are riding tomorrow, which is a Sunday, which I cannot make it and I really want to ride. So, today lah, alright, today lah. Solo, no problem. In this video, actually, I want to talk about something. Uh. <laughs> so, there's a lot of people that ask me, Hey, bro, when are you going to change your bike? Hey, bro, you going to upgrade your 390 to the new 390 Duke? And probably not. Uh, not in the near future. Lah. <laughs> because this bike is this old, old 390 V2. is good enough. And I really like it. The new 390 is a completely different bike. It rides very differently. Handling, everything is different. It's a completely different bike. I don't know how to you describe it you need to do a test right then you know what i'm talking about uh. i don't want to say i prefer because i haven't spent a lot a lot a lot of time on that new one so i actually still really enjoy this bike let me show you why in a moment Is this not good enough? <laughs> Is this not good enough? I mean... I still love this bike very much man I mean the capabilities of it is just It's really good love. So yeah, I'm not upgrading in the near future lah Maybe, maybe in a couple of years No lah, maybe not in a couple of years lah I mean if if I need to upgrade then I'll upgrade But now, nah, this is still my baby I like everything about this bike Every single thing about this bike A lot of people say KTM reliability is an issue It's not reliable, it leaks oil everywhere I have this bike for 3 years plus now I haven't seen a single drop of oil on my floor Nothing, no problem at all Zero, literally zero Maybe this is luck, this is pure luck But I mean this is my experience lah <laughs> I do I do love everything about this bike okay almost everything the only thing that it suffers from is highway commute so if I want to go like long distance ride it is a problem lah because obviously this bike is not meant for long distance riding it can keep up with the traffic but your comfort is gonna suffer a bit lah well, there's quite a lot of cars today I'm surprised it's uh it's it's 7 in the morning now a lot of cars already anyways yeah it's not built for long distance comfort this bike is built for a little devil a demon a little demon it's almost like a chihuahua it's crazy you know it's it's a little hooligan bike it's angry it doesn't want to be ridden slow it just it it keeps encouraging you to ride it fast it wants the throttle it wants throttle it is so hungry for Throttle. This is how I can describe this bike lah. It's very exciting riding this bike, but it's tiring as well. Like highway, for example, if I'm going uh, out station, two three hundred kilometers trip, it is tiring. One thing is because of the engine characteristic, it just wants to go and go and go and go. And you make the engine happy, you suffer. <laughs> I don't know lah. That's just me lah. If the engine wants to go like 130, 140 all the time. As a naked bike, it's not the most comfortable a bike to be tour on uh, yeah comfort is the, is the, is the big issue la. and also the comfort like you know when you go touring yes you can put a big windshield to be more comfortable but it's so ugly I, I just don't like it at all yeah form over function so I there's no way I'm gonna put a huge ass touring touring screen on this bike because of a wind blast and yes wind blast on this bike is a problem because it's a naked bike and also it's light it's very light it's 150 plus 160 kilos if I'm not wrong with a bike this light you twirl on it it kind of gets all over the place when you are cutting through big trucks the trailers and whatnot right so yeah, it's not the best for touring, but this little bike is a maniac. It 
just wants to go <laughs> he just wants to go man Just asking for a throttle, give me more, give me more, give me more. Okay, it's true. <laughs> this bike is awesome, man. <laughs> It's a great bike overall It just brings you excitement And my future plans for this bike is Actually I really really want to make it to a track bike <laughs> A track bike Because this was my like my first thought like, ever since I got this bike I want to convert this bike into a track bike Because I know this bike KTM Usually in Malaysia like, KTM if you want to sell it second hand It has no value and The second hand value is quite shit But I'm not sure in the future what is it Is it going to hold up its value or not As for now What I had in mind is I'm going to make it a track bike and then probably if i can afford a adventure bike i will go for an adventure bike so yeah that's my plan in the future lah. oh it's cold today it's foggy i'm heading up to genting gonna have my breakfast chill out for a while then if weather is okay i am going to go to btic bukit tinggi it's, it's so interesting malaysians are so interesting btic stands for bukit tinggi international circuit and it, it's not an official name but in like google maps you can search for it <laughs> it's a made up name by the the bikers lah <laughs> bukit tinggi international circuit that's the usual place that i go if i want to do some cornerings but let's see how it goes If weather permits, we'll be there And also stay subscribed to this, vi uh, this video, this channel Because uh, in the next video I'm gonna experiment on a new camera angle I think it's gonna be interesting So you know what to do? Thank you so much for tuning in I'll see you in the next video Also don't forget to uh, follow me on Instagram I post nice photos <laughs> I'm so shameless about saying this Yes, I really do post nice photos I love taking photos of this beautiful baby And if you want to enjoy some nice photos You can follow me on Instagram And also you can reach me on Instagram better You know, Instagram can DM, right? Yeah, so follow me on Instagram See you on Instagram, say hi See ya